guys, it's Maggie, Just Enough Eyes. Today I wanted to do a review on an epilator. So this is the Braun Silk 3. So I purchased mine off of Amazon. I did an epilator review years ago and I think a lot of people really liked it. So I thought I should review this one. I did really like the epilator I reviewed before, but as years went on, I think it just wasn't doing as well. It wasn't able to grab the hair as much. I felt like I had to go over each section so many different times. So it was time to invest in a new one. Now, if you're completely new to epilating, it's essentially like you're tweezing out your hair. So looking up close, there's all these tweezers that are on a spinning wheel. So they're spinning and they're grabbing out your hair. What's so great about that is it gives you the results of like waxing because you're fully pulling out the hair. So you get probably three, four, five weeks without hair in that area. Um, and it also will help your hair over time to like grow thinner, grow less. So there's a lot of benefits in that regard. What I use this for most is doing my legs and doing my underarms. And as someone who's fair skinned and my hair is like a dark brown naturally, even when I shave my armpits, you can still see shadows under the skin because the hair is growing under the skin. So when you're pulling it out, that's when your armpits will look light. They, you won't see those shadows. It works really well for that. Now it can be pretty painful epilating. Just picture tweezing tons of hair at once. It's not ideal. Um, you can try taking Tylenol or Advil to help. Also, if you're female right before that time of the month, you're more sensitive to pain. So maybe try another week, that might be better. But I do find as you go, like the first minute or something, it's really painful, but you start to get a bit numb and kind of tingly and you kind of get used to it. Also, your hair is not as locked into the roots. Like the more time you do it, it gets easier, it gets better. So for my armpits, I usually do them about once a month. And then in between, if there's a few hairs, I'll just do a quick shave also to exfoliate the skin. But I really love like the long term results with this. Also the money that you save on razors, on waxing appointments, however else you're doing hair removal, it's a really great option. So the other hair removal one that I did years ago was wireless. So you'd charge it and I did really like that, but sometimes you'd run out of power when you're like almost on your legs and you just want to finish. So I like how this one is actually plugged into the wall. There's also a little light so you can see when you're working, you can see like all the hairs being thrown off, which is kind of fun. There's two different settings of speeds. I'll show you it here. So here's one and two. So they go really fast. You get a nice light as well. And I don't notice a really big difference in the speed. I usually just go double time, try to get it done as fast as possible. So for this, you can actually change the head. Um, you do also get this little brush, so you can clean the little hairs out in between. But when you push these two buttons on the side, this piece comes off and then you can put this shaver on, which to be honest, I have not really used. I'm just here for the epilation, but it does come with this head and then you can remove this cap and get like a really close shave if you wanted to. Um, so maybe for like your bikini section, your bikini area, that could be a good one. Um, so if you take that off, you can get really close. And there's also this edge here to shave. So I really love this tool. I think it's really small, very light, very convenient. I like that you can plug it in and it works really, really well. It grabs the hairs nicely. I would also re recommend that when you're epilating that you're stretching the skin, especially on looser areas, like if you're doing your thighs or your underarm, like I like to pull the skin and then go for it so that you're just pulling the hair and the skin isn't being pulled and lifted with it, um, which could kind of pull on your skin. You could actually get bruises. Like if you get waxed and someone pulls up instead of through, you can get like bruising because it's like trauma to the skin. So the more you can kind of stretch, the better it'll be for your skin. So yeah, that's my review. I absolutely love this. I will link it below if you're interested. It's a really great product and it's going really well. I love it. So thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You can also turn on notifications to get notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.